There used to be all fabric places here. Some of them are no longer. Hey, hey Louise. I always like questions are never really answered correctly. It's just babbling is, is mostly the way things get properly discussed. Go in and start painting, you know, just instinctively. I call it automatic painting. You just kind of paint what you see. Maybe, you know, these abstractions kind of, you know, formulate something, something comes out of them. And then I go back and, and rework them and, and it just starts from there, you know, and then it, and then it kind of ultimately turns into something that is a representation of my personal psyche um, or my personal viewpoint. It, 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 it depends. What's so unique about, about what I'm doing? Why, you know, why is this any different from, you know, anybody else's? Well, there's 8 billion people on earth right? And everyone has a unique perspective. Isn't that kind of cool? So you can't really duplicate that. Yeah. If you're coming from your true subconscious zone, you know, where you're really just honing in on what it is that you're seeing from your perspective. You know, if you're dealing with, um, you know, modernism, I think, from a traditional standpoint has been just that, you know, it's kind of the freedom to deviate from what it is that you've established yourself as. And, you know, it's challenging. It can be challenging and a little scary, but isn't that what it what it's about? It's kind of, you know, what I'd like to think about is constantly teetering on you know, the, the, the unknown or, or, or what it is that, you know, asking myself the, the same questions of like, what, it, what, what am I doing and why? Why is this unique? What's any show I've ever had or any time I've, I've exposed my work publicly, it's, you know, there is a level of, you know. Oh, it's gotta be nerve wracking. Yeah, a little you know, bit. You just have your stuff out there, like everyone's just judging it. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is you also have to remember is that once it escapes your your possession, there, you know, it's it's completely, you know, at the mercy of of, of other people's judgment, and that's yeah. okay. I think that's really kind of what's what's exciting to me about this work, to be honest, is you know having not to explain every detail about what's going on and allow the viewer to really come up with their own conclusion. You know, this is a painting that isn't a direct reference to something that I uh, have have seen. It's more of a, an invention of of an emotion. You know, it's like what I'm dealing with is is you know subconscious. I went to Catholic school, so I always had these you know images of of stained glass. You know, I find it really interesting because it's really, you know, technique is obviously very important. And, you know, I try to do these things with a different approach. But um, more importantly, you know, the concepts that are involved in these are very, you know, are very personal, you know, and there's like a lot of different meanings. You know, there's an alchemical, you know, thing to these where each object kind of has its own representation. I'm just, I'm just building a collection. I have a couple of things happening. I have a, um, I have a residency in Istanbul that I'll be creating work for a show um, in 2024. It's cool. I, I mean, I haven't been there in a couple of years, but I'm going back there next month. Yeah, right now I'm working on the acid blotter, the acid blotter that uh, we just talked about. And um, that's an exciting thing to kind of dive into that world. I don't know, people have done in the past, artists have done in the past, but I think that my work is a little bit different you know, with regards to that. So it's kind of an exciting new project. It was amazing, which pretty much like 
inspire this painting. So I came back and painted that, like right away. I came back and painted that right away, yeah, so. I have a painting from that period back here, if you wanna follow me, from the last period that I was exhibiting before COVID. So this is sort of from the previous series. Yeah, so you can kind of get an idea as to how the, the abstract background um, comes through. Did yeah, I did a, I did a, um, a wrap. Yeah. So they, yeah, they printed a wallpaper and they wallpapered the whole gallery with one of these paintings. That gallery so. was tight. It looks, it yeah, looks yeah, yeah, yeah. Really it's good. a good gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow gallery yeah. in China. Being in front of it's very different. The materiality, you know, these paints that I use, it's, it's called casein. And um, I use casein and then I use flash paint too because it's kind of the most similar, you know, art material but it's um, extremely vivid. It's, it's very um, flat. This is my youngest son and um, one of his, uh, one of his um, therapists that he works with. So yeah, man, I mean, that's kind of what it's been about is just like documenting my own life, seeing things from my own personal perspective and yeah, I mean, putting it out there. It's like as honest as it can get. And that's the other thing that I was thinking about. You know, I, I do have a lot of, you know, existential thoughts and things about, you know, dealing with, you know, the mind and cosmos and afterlife and all that fun stuff. But, you know, to convey uh, your personal reality, I think, is just a, you know, it's a more honest approach to things. There's a lot of people, so you get to people watch as well. And that's always fun. Be hands. You got a prop or a, you know. Maybe. Again, that's, I don't want to get too involved. That's not.